All right. So through this video, I'm going to share with you my understanding of making a corpus. And uh, one of my colleagues asked whether I could help them to do this. I'm making this video. First of all, what I have done is I've made a folder on my desktop so that I can easily go back to the data that I need. I have put a PDF file over here and Anchor. We'll be looking at only one software, the most easy and basic one that is Anchor. And then I've taken one random text from internet. Uh, let me open it. It's just this, this kind of text, right? Uh, now, it's pertinent to understand that there are many readable formats available for different kinds of softwares to read it for us. And we are already familiar with PDF, Word file, and text file. And I'll be telling you only these three. There are many others actually, but for Ancom, uh, most important text uh, format that we need for the data to be loaded in the software is text file. So we'll be moving from PDF to text file. First, we have PDF file. Let's convert it into a uh, Word file. In order to do that, what we can do is we can download some, download some software or we can go online. So we write PDF to Word file in our search engine, uh, in our Google search engine. This is the website I usually use to do this. This is the kind of interface which will open. You can see the URL over here. So we'll click on upload files. Once we do that, it will take us to the same folder. I have directed it. You can direct it yourself. Then you click on the word uh, sorry, PDF file and it will be loaded here and then converted. Once it's converted, you will download it. And it has gone into my download folder. I'll take it from there and then paste it in my and comps folder so that we can easily discuss further. So this is our word file, which we have converted online from PDF format. Now we'll be enabling editing. Now your corpora or your corpus, whatever you're building can depend on many factors, whether you're studying the relationship between headings and text or maybe spaces, depends. But basically what we do is we remove unnecessary non-essential parts of the text that we don't need for our um, analysis. For example, I'll be removing the page numbers and heading and these questions. Now, next part is the spacing. You can see there are spaces. Sometimes spaces perhaps may be needed and sometimes they are not needed. So let me show you a very quick way to get rid of these spaces. Apart from that, um, maybe we don't need the work cited and footnotes. We can, you know, delete them manually. We know how to delete them manually. Just take this and remove. It's removed. Right? We don't need the, this information as well. So we'll be removing it. Depends. We'll remove notes as well. Now this has been removed. The rest of it is the text. Now, let me take you to an um, online interface where you can use this text. Let me copy it to my clipboard, control all and control C or copy. And let's go back to Google search engine. I'll be writing text fix fixer in it. You will find more um, uh, uh, sites which can help you in this regard. I found this one. Uh, this is a kind of, you know, uh, different tools which could help you with corpus linguistics, HTML, and different word generating tools, etc. Whatever you need, you can, you know, study this website later. We are concerned with removing line breaks and spaces. So we'll be clicking on the first option. There are two options given. We'll be using the second one, and then we'll be pasting the text that we have on our clipboard. Now, this is how I've pasted my text, okay? There are spaces, unnecessary spaces. So now I'll be um, clicking on remove line breaks. Once we do that, you can see our text looks like this. And this is the most accepted uh, look of a text that we need for our uh, analyses in corpus linguistics, basic ones, specifically, uh, especially. So we'll copy it and then go back to our Word file again. We'll remove the other data, which we copied on a clipboard and 
will paste it over here. So this is how your Word file would look like, right? Have a look. Right, so so smooth, no spacing, no uh, paragraphing or um, page numbers or uh, um, unnecessary details. Now, next step is very easy where we have to convert this Word file into text file. So we'll be clicking on file, then we have save as, and then we have drop down list over here. And here we can see plain text that is txt. It's uh, from. So we'll click on that and then save it. You might have different kind of uh, 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 Microsoft version, but you'll find this save as option uh, in different locations in your software. So don't be hesitant and get confused whether you have it or not. You'll find it. You can take it from um, YouTube tutorials. You'll find it, whatever version you're using. I'm using uh, Microsoft 2016, I believe, anyhow. Now you can see that in preview, we do not have any issues or any uh, objections. Sometimes your text might have some symbols which are not convertible. So what you can do for that is you click on other encoding, you go up in this uh, dropdown list and then you click on UTF-8. So if you have are having any issue with the text, it's not being converted, it will help it to Convert. So Unicode ko use kar liji and then you click on OK. Now text file has been made and our Word file is also available in the same folder, right? This is our text file. It has been made. Now let me launch AntPomp where I'll be telling you how to load your uh, text file into it. You click on File and Open Files and then it, this is your file whatever you have put it, it's good and it's for the best that you keep your Ancom software and your Word uh, text file in the same folder. So you click on that and you open it and then it's loaded over here. And this is the interface where you can search for concordance, plot, file group, cluster, collocates, keyword lists, and many other functions. For example, let me run our word so that we know you have to write over here. Um, I've written can, and then you click on start. Once you do that, you can see that uh, there are only eight uh, occurrences or concording, concordance hits in our text that we have taken. So this is all from my side. I hope this has helped and uh, good luck. Allah